Hello, it's Markham with Torch Chief, Markham 3D, and this is part four of the making of the landing gear, and this is part three of modeling. Now, if you want to have full access to the course, please jump over to my Gumroad or my Patreon. If not, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, and better yet, hit that bell button. So let's continue on with finishing off this bottom section. So from here straight away, um, let's maybe just grab vertex mode. Let's press three to go into side panel. Um, let's go C. Actually, let's deselect everything with A, A, C. Select all that. Shift S, cursor to selected. Let's now go Shift A, add in a cylinder, scroll, uh, scale that in, rotate X, sorry, rotate Y, 90 degrees. How's that looking? Are we actually in there? Scale. Scale, there we go. And now we can scale that on the x-axis so it comes through. And then we'll do what we did before. Control R to put that edge loop in. Let's go right click to put it back into the middle. Control B to do a bevel. Oops, and let's just have two points. Another edge loop. Right click back in the middle, Control B. There we go. And then from here we'll select these two. E to extrude, scale. Shift X, so it's only along the Y and the Z. We'll put it like so. And then that gives the ability for that to spin freely. All right, now the question is, oh, what are we gonna be doing about this? I do like having the idea as we've got it up here. So maybe, maybe we take that into account. So let's maybe grab, oh, grab all this. C, select all that, Control L. And we will shift D that, rotate 180 degrees. Let's come into here, control L, delete all that. Oops, come back in again. C to select all them, control L, scale. And how are we gonna do this? Plop it about here, you reckon? Scale on the X, like so. Ugh. <laughs> let's come into top view and we will grab all this what I can do is I can do box select and scale on the x-axis so we can see that this bit here is our bottom arm and if we come into solid mode we can see maybe a little bit more there we go look at that nice and then this will mean that now we can work on the foot. What kind of foot shall we make? Maybe let's start off by bringing this down and we're gonna want maybe this here. Whoops, Control L, Shift D to the Y. Oh my, <laughs> I forgot I didn't fix that up. So let's grab maybe this, it's weird. That's fine. Let's grab this section in here because we're going to close this area. I'm going to, oh, let's just do it like this. Let's go face. So I'm going to select these two vertices and face. And I can go right click subdivide. And then let's kind of just guesstimate this. G and about there. And then I can select this edge and just go face face with F, face, face, with F. And let's just close this off, face, and face. There we go, Control L, and see if we can get that now in a decent spot. Mm. So once again, we will need to fix this piece in here. Uh, we have to remember that this will be fully extended as well. So let's kind of maybe bring it to about there-ish. I reckon I press two and select that edge loop, control B, just to round that off. Ugh. It's a little bit yuck, isn't it? So maybe let's select this and this delete edge loop. And now I can select this control B and that gives that. From here, let's do what we did on the other piece select here, press one to go into vertices, select this bottom bit, 
GYY, sorry, ZZ. So something like that. All right. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. But now the question is, is what kind of design should we do? Should we make it kind of like a ski shape? And that way, as it kind of lands, it can still be moving forward ever so slightly and it will kind of won't destroy the brake. I mean, the lever, I mean, the landing pad. So maybe that's what we'll do. Let's go grab this G to the Z. So something like that. I'm going to put an edge loop through here. Let's just grab this edge and we'll go G to the X and we'll kind of just block it out. Um, let's just fix this up, grab that edge, G to the Z, and we'll scale that on the Y axis a little bit. It kind of looks like an ironing board at the moment, but I'm fine with that. Maybe what we can do is we will tilt this front section up. So what we can do is grab this G to the Z, and let's maybe put an edge loop in there, G to the Z. Let's go control B to add in that bevel like so. I don't think that edge there works, but let's go GG. Okay, G, something like that. That's not too bad. Should we create some pockets in here? Just to make the landing gear a little bit lighter. So for instance, if I put an edge loop through there and an edge loop through there, we can kind of grab Hmm, how should we do this? Maybe what we'll do is put our bevels through here again, control B. Put an edge loop through the center to make sure that's nice and sturdy. And then let's go edge there. I'm gonna move this over more to the edge. Let's go GG. And we'll grab these vertices here, delete faces. Let's delete this edge here and select the bottom, control L, delete faces. Ah, dang it, I deleted too much. Whatever, <laughs> delete faces. Let's put an edge loop through there, edge loop through there. And then what I can do is I can just go GG, move them to the, down the bottom and we'll go F, control L to select everything that's linked. E to extrude, so something like that. I am going to keep that there, just kind of like that extra support. Let's go with that. From here, what else could we do? Maybe we might grab just that face there, Shift D, Z. Let's scale that on the X axis. I'm going to grab this center edge and let's go G to the Y. Control L, E to extrude, something like that, scale X. And what that is, is kind of like a strength point. So the center of it's stronger. And then I'm gonna do E to extrude through there. And then what I can do is I can bring this up, G to the Z, and that's all hidden in there. So that's, yeah, that works well, doesn't it? I'm fairly happy with that. Now from here, we can do shade smooth, come into the object data, auto smooth. Let's come in here and we'll select all these points. There we go. Here, 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 and here. Select that, 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 and that. One more side. This one, this one, this one this one, this one. Control B to do a bevel. Oh, that's annoying because I've got that gap in the middle there. What would happen if I were to put an edge loop through here? Let's just test this real quick. Control B. And there we go. That fixes that problem kind of-ish. Ah, let's delete that edge loop and maybe we'll just make these bars are a little bit thicker. I think maybe they're too thin anyway. 
So what we can do is Alt, left click, and we will just select those, scale on the Y axis to make them thicker. Whoops. Let's come up to the top here and go medium point. No, sorry. Individual origins, scale to the Y axis. And then that'll do that. Now you can see they're a bit wonky, which is definitely not what we want. So let's see if we can go Alt, left click. We can't do it like that. So we'll come into side view. Let's go C, scale, Y, zero. And this makes them straight. And we'll just quickly do that. Scale Y, zero. Select C, scale Y, zero. C, scale Y, zero. C, select <laughs> scale Y, zero. Sorry, just had a brain fart then. Select all that. Scale C, Y, zero. There we go. Uh, C. Y zero, C scale Y zero, S scale Y zero, and last but not least, well, actually it is the last. There we go. All right, so now that's flat. Let's cut. Maybe put an edge loop in here. I just saw this. Grab that G to the Y. There we go. That just makes it look a little bit prettier. Now let's select those inside edges. Oh, I've got these edge loops in here. So let's quickly delete these edge loops. There we go. And this one, delete edge loop. And now we can come in here and select all these points. Still kind of yucky. So let's do edge loop, edge loop, edge loop, edge loop, edge loop. Again, slightly frustrating, reselecting all these. Kind of just do that. That to me is hunky dory. There we go. We've now finished off our landing gear. That is looking quite nice. So we'll finish up this video now. It's a bit of a short one compared to last week. In the next video, we'll go about texturing this and we'll try and do it with all PBR without having to do any material. Well, we need to do materials, but without UV wrapping and so on and so forth. So if you want to follow along, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps updating my content. And if you want a copy of these files, these will be available on Patreon.